So verse number 1, chapter 4, verse number 1, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 1, Let a man so account of us as the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. There are a lot of mysteries mentioned in the Bible. Uh, I think Nine of them mentioned in the Bible. So there are nine mysteries mentioned in the Bible. Matthew chapter 13 verse number 11. And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. So this is what we call the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Then throughout the Ito wag o book of Matthew up to the book of Revelation. There are nine. But why seven? Because we, we are going to concentrate. So ito, seven mysteries. Seven mysteries. That was for seven mysteries that were revealed to Paul. So our concentration this morning is all about the mysteries were revealed to Paul. Dili itong gisulti ni Kristo sa iyahang ministry o di po itong wapunato po na i-appeal ang itawag Mystery nga gireveal nga tukang John the Beloved. So our mysteries nga tagag pagtagag are those mysteries that were revealed to our Apostle, Apostle Paul. And there are seven mysteries nga gireveal sa ginoo nga tukang Apostle Paul. Our Apostle, the Apostle or the Apostle to the Gentile people. And also, he's the apostle of the body of Christ, the mystery. We call it the mystery. Ang itawag, ang itawag of church age for grace period. So, ito sa ito ang timeline. So, atong isa-isahon ang pagtuon sa mga nga mga mysteries na gireveal ni Kristo nga tukang Apostle Paul. Ano nga itong si Kristo ang nag-reveal nini? It is because si, si Paul mismo ang nagsulti niya na in the book of Galatians, there are a lot of revelations huh? na gireveal nga tukang Apostle Paul. Gani, at uya po na siyang makita Diri sa <clears throat> Second Corinthians chapter 12 Verse number 1 Second Corinthians chapter 12 
Verse number 1, Ikon dia, It is not expedient for me doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. So, there are a lot of visions and revelations of the Lord. In Galatians chapter 1, verse number Verse number 12, For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. So, na ay mga revelation nga tumakita, mabasa, nga gihatag si Ginoo, nga tukang Apostle Paul, o gireveal si Ginoo nga tukang Apostle Paul. So, di na nato na siya ma, malalis. And there are a lot of Revelations. Those revelations, the hatag sa ginawa to kang Apostle Paul, mauna ang mga gitawag o mysteries nga iyahang gisulti. So, daghan ang mga mysteries nga gireveal sa ginawa nga to kang Apostle Paul, which uh, they are not revealed before Although some of those are prophecy, but we could not clearly understood on sa ang buot ipasabot sa ilaha mga prophecy. So, ato makita din he. Ato mga basahon ang mga verses nga na ang gitawag mysteries. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse number 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse number 2 1 Corinthians 14 verse number 2 Yun dia, For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men but unto God for no man understandeth him how be it in the spirit he speaketh mysteries So, na yung mga gituwag o mysteries na yun sa Bible. Now, at nasigutan ang mga mystery na gisulti din isa sa Bible. First, ano ako na ito? Pag number one, discuss ang gituwag o the mystery of godliness so asal ito na makita in the book of 1st Timothy chapter 3 1st Timothy chapter 3 verse number 16 Okay, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse number 16. Iyon din ha. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, Believe on in the world, receive up into glory. So the first mystery nga itong makita is during the time number one sige tawag o birth of Christ. about Jesus Christ. The incarnation of Christ ang itawag ito dia. So, ang itong makita din eh, giunsa sa Diyos pagpadaya diha sa unod. Now, dagan kayo mga doktrina ang mga ma-igok nini 
In verse number 16, this verse was twisted sa mga perverted nga mga Bibles. Instead, nga isuwat diya sa ato ang King James Bible, that's why we always uphold, we always uh, ito wag treat the King James Bible as the pure, perfect, and preserved Word of God. Because we believe there's only one Bible ang gipreserve si Ginoong sa entire history of mankind. Now, Anong mo yung taniana? Because taghan kayo mga loopholes sa mga perverted versions yung itong makita din na. For example, in this verse, atong ibasa, in this mystery, iyon diya sa itong ibasa, and without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Unsa ang mystery si ito godliness? Iyon diya. God was manifest in the flesh. Sa ato ang King James Bible, iyon diya, God manifest in the flesh. Now, ang uban ng mga perverted ng mga Bible, now in all modern corrupt versions, typically of the stupidity of the apostates who messed with the, with the text, example, kining itawag ASB or American Standard Version of 1909, which constructed a sentence with a subject but no predicate. Iyon niya ang yung statement sa American Standard Version. He who was manifested no, in the flesh. He who was manifested in the flesh. That was the work of Philip Chaischa the American Standard Version. After writing eight volumes of church history, he proves, or he proved, he couldn't understand basic English, at least where the deity of Christ was at stake. To cover up its predecessor, or predecessor's scene of defecting from the first fundamental of the faith, the Nasba, New American Standard Version stuck the verb once after the word spirit. Even though they were or there is no such word in any Greek text. All of this incompetent bungling of the text comes from misreading. This would be a isolating Greek word today. Omicron Sigma the Greek word for the relative pronouns who and which the apostate scholars do this in 252 cursive manuscripts three ancient versions and the eyewitness and the eyewitness testimonies of scholars through a 300 year period that ancient manuscript Manuscript A, that means Alexandrinus. Sa Manuscript A, makita ni mo dia. Nga gibot ka ngan o. O ni mga letra sa Greek. Until the crossbar on the theta faded presented with the documented evidence the scholars choose to kick god almighty out of his own incarnation so diha ni makita so kining gamay nga that din he nagka anam nagka erase no ang to na erase na gyud instead of Theos, Theos, na yun mo ng Os, na yun mo ng Os, meaning He, 
instead of tails, God. So, nahimong he. So, there are people, and I believe Satan is behind this fading away. Ginagmay na kayo ang mga ang diferensya teos pero pag kuhaon na siya malahit na ang meaning niya na so yun siya sa Bible sa atong King James Bible God manifest in the flesh but in their bible nahimo ito na nga ang original text na sulti God Theos pero sa ilaha nahimo ng He by taking that crossbar on the theta kana nang gamay gikuha it changes the whole meaning so i believe satan is behind of all these twisting scriptures wala in nga napungot sa pulong sa ginoo it is satan so he uses these people Ah, mga mga apostate mga bible scholars so called mga maayo ko no so gigamit sa sayawa pag change sa mga pulong sa Dios nga iyang isulti salamat we have the King James Bible nga nagapuhod sa tinud anay nga pulong sa Dios It's not a translation based on ang uh, itawag o uh, ideas or kung naalang sa idea the King James Bible was translated based on verbal uh, plenary uh, or ganyan itawag o in other words it is translated word for word not ideas is translated word for word that's why our King James Bible nagsulti niya God was manifest in the flesh that's a mystery oh, kung sa may mystery kung mayroon ang Biblia He manifest in the flesh which kitang tao kung sa may, kung sa may mystery matao mang kita if kining He din He mo imong gamiton wala na na nag-determine kinsa nang hiri ha? it is a profound word pwede satan pwede tao so daghan og meaning whereas sa King James Bible specifically gisulti siya kinsa ang nagmanifest in the flesh it's God because satan also will manifest in the flesh sa coming days when the antichrist come ato na makita o sa mystery number 7 sa, sa, si antichrist mo, mo abot doon sa kalibutan he will be first sa iyahang 2 years is ako na sigutan o niya he is a literal tao gin siya but the moment he dies satan will incarnate sa maong nga tao then ma-raise siya pagbalik ma just like kung saan hitabok ito ito din hinga nabanaw siya pag-usap si Satan mo ugya uh, si Antichrist mabanaw siya pag-usap but as Satan incarnate so yung makita din ha importante kayo ang wording sa Bible that is why King James Bible is the is the is, is the perfect pure and preserved word of God Diyan niya makita sa Timothy na uh, if magduda mo magduda mo sa konsulting you can you can you can try to 
to open your Bible, you can try to look at in your Bible. Then look at First Corinthians, Timothy chapter three sixteen. Then tanawa sa yung Biblia by by using perverted version, any version in yung mabasa diha except sa King James Bible, the word God was uh, was changed. The word God was changed sa kitawag of He. So, walay, kung He ay mong gamitin din na, it is a profound word, di ka kay balukin sa nga tao din ha. But sa King James Bible, gisulti din niya that God manifest in the flesh. So, I, I, I have to draw, draw a, draw a, and I guess good about God. It's a mystery. So, na yung nagsuot ng tudlo, o ba nga tudlo, Father is the Spirit. Spirit is the Son. Son is the Father. So, I believe, dili yun ana ang pagkasulti sa Biblia. We have a picture sa ato as human being. Ang say picture sa ato ano eh. Naatay ito wag sa Bible na okay, First Thessalonians chapter five. Tanatos sa mga dito First Thessalonians chapter five. This is an a great illustration about sa ito wag Godhead. First Thessalonians five twenty three yun diha. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body huh? so we have a soul body uh, spirit so my part sa tao three parts ang tao our soul is not the body. Our body is not the spirit. Or the spirit is not the body. Or the spirit is not the soul. They are separate na parts sa tao. Gisulti niya, your whole spirit and soul and body. So, they are not the same. So, kung naiyag tudlo sa upan ka rin, naiyag tudlo nga ang father o ang son, isa, son o spirit, isa, maora, so they are not the same. Father is not the son, the son is not the spirit. The Spirit is not the Father. The Father is not the Spirit. The Spirit is not the Son. The Son is not the Father. They are three parts na makita sa isa ka tao. Pero, they are not the same. Kinsa ang nakita na si Kristo. Because He has the body na makita sa mga tao. Pero, they are not the same. But they are one God with three parts. It's hard to comprehend meaning of teaching. Why? It is because it's a mystery. 
It's a mystery. Great is the mystery of godliness. No? The mystery of godliness is great. Great is the mystery of godliness. You, we cannot comprehend it uh, as, 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 as a whole. Di na ito na siya ma, ma, si masamtan. But the illustration sa ito ang uh, pagkatao, I am one, but inside of me, or ang akong pagkatao, composed sa, sa ito, three parts. I have a body, and I have, I have a soul, and I have spirit. As what the Bible says, di ko kakita, even ako di ko kakita, asa ang spirit to. Di ko kakita, spirit to na ako mismo. Ba, kita sa akong kalag mismo. Pero that's what the Bible says. Now, ang atong kalag, there is what we call a body form. Na ay forma ang kalag. Sumala sa gisulti sa Biblia. Uh, sa diyan, ang taong, taong dato na matay. Ha? Ang taong dato na matay. Then sa iyang pagkamatay, yun siya, and in hell, he left up his eyes. So, naa siya'y mata. So, dito mo toong ang kalag. Mura nag kuan. Mura nag something. It has a body form. Naa siya'y purma sa, sa body. Hmm. Nagaling lang, we cannot, as, as human being, as human as we are, di nato siya makita. Di nato siya makita. But, the moment nga mo abutas sa itong spirit's world, di nato makita. Kung kita na po yung anak, sama sa ilaha, or na atay dito a glorified body, now, makita nato ang soul. Yung sa Biblia, ang soul has a body form. There's eyes. He left up his eyes. Iyon din siya sa mga verse dito. And tawag si, si Lazarus yeah, to dip his uh, uh, finger so that napabugnawan ang tumoy sa ako ang tang. So his, uh, the Bible says tang. Uh, si tang. But masabot. Ang kalag, there is a human body or a body form. Uh, ang ang gitawag kalag sa tao. Now, we cannot, we can see it. Di ito kakita. Ngayon nga, buhi pa kita. Napakita ali nga lawa. So, we cannot see sa gitawag o mga gitawag kalag, kalag sa tao. Because it's, it, it, it belongs sa gitawag o spirit world. Now, as human being, to look apart, o, to look apart, Pero, isa ra. Muna ang ito wag. Mabuta na na I work at Trinity. Na Trinity is not a Catholic doctrine. It is a Bible doctrine. No? Just like sa unsa gisulti sa uban, they're accusing us. Nakita na ito o Trinity. They, 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 we, we follow the teaching of the Roman Catholic Church. No, we do not follow the teaching of the Roman Catholic Church. Because this is not a Catholic doctrine, it is a Bible doctrine. Ang word niya, Trinity, we, we, we use Godhead. No? The word Trinity, that means Godhead. No, in the Bible. Trinity is not found, the word, the word Trinity is not found in the Bible, but the idea, the teaching, Atong makita na anak sa Bible, especially John chapter 5, verse John chapter 5, verse number 7. Again, sa uban nga mga perversion nga, perverted yung mga Bibles, mga modern perversions, wala na po ni sa ilahang mga Biblia. No, who's behind it? Kinsa ang naa sa likod ni ini? No? First John 5, 7. I believe the one behind this uh, gitawag uh, conspiracy is no other than the devil. No? The Trinity, the Trinity has been turned out of the verse in every new corrupt apostate Laodicean publication by the Alexandrian code which followed the text of Nestle Allen and Mitziger and Wiscott and Hort. There is an unbroken succession of witness or witnesses to the verse starting with the Old 
Syriac version AD 170. So in the old Syriac version makita ang 1 John 5:7 AD 170. Pipe Tatian AD 180. Old Latin versions and Tertullian AD 200. Sa writings ni Cyprian AD 255. You can find Uh, 1 John 5.7 sa, write, sa writing ni Agitawag Oga or sa manuscript nila ni Priscillian and Altanasius AD 350 sa Council of Carthage AD 415 sa writings ni Jerome AD 450 ni Cassiodorus AD 480 Paul Gensius or Paul Hensius, A.D. 510, Codex Vian Virgensis, A.D. 750, Minuscule Manuscripts, 88, 1150, Four Different Waldensians Bible, A.D. 600 to 1400, Minuscule Manuscripts, 629, 14th Century, and minuscule manuscript 61 1519 makita ang Christian 5:7 that last manuscript is discounted by the scholars because it was produced by the catholic on the demand of Erasmus before he would put the verse in his greek text but manuscript 61 has affinities to the old Syriac AD 150 before any Syriac version was known in Europe, Moses Mardin, 1552. Moreover, with the Johannin Kama left out the genders of the witnesses in the first part of the verse do not match that of the spirit, water, and blood. In verse 8, showing that something was removed from the text, the verse has better at internal and external evidence than the NIV and the Nasva reading for 1 Timothy 3.16 and John 1.18. Dato makita din ha, kung atong basahon ang verse number 7, no, ilan di ha, For there are three that bear record in heaven. Hmm. There are three that bear record in heaven. Ang sunod nga phrase din na gikuha, giumit sa mga other versions. Sundit dit sul ang bak sa verse number 8. And there are three that bear witness in earth. Now, kun imong dit sulon ang verse 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven putol. So, umpay sa verse number 8. And there are three that bear witness in earth. Now, where is the witness in heaven? Kung dito kagbasa sa verse number 8. Tanawa ang Johanin Kama. Hmm. So, ito o grammatical text or grammatical statement. There are three that bear record in heaven. Potol, dritso sa 8. And there are three that bear witness on or in earth. Now, where are witnesses? In heaven. Because in verse number 8, the witness in earth, gisulti. There are three that bear record in heaven. Kanya, kung di di mo na isumpay, Dito kay Balokin sa ang nagwitness or there are witnesses in heaven. Now, klaro kayo someone behind this controversy. There is someone behind it. But in our King James Bible gisulti to dia For there are three that bear record in heaven. The soul tiliya, sunod ni praise. The Father, the Word, meaning Son, Christ. Because the Word here is not a small 
letter. It's a big letter, meaning it refers to the word Christ. He is the word of God in Revelation, in, in the book of Revelation, it was the word of God. And the Spirit or the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. So, claro kayo, ang idea, ang itawag o teaching sa word, sa treaty sa Bible. And we use Godhead, uh, either as a Godhead or Trinity, as long as naanak sa Bible, na ang teaching din ha. Now, pero gikuha ni sa uban nga mga versions. That's why akong gibasa sa inyo ha kun asa makita ang Trinity or ang, ang 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 Father, Son or Word and Holy Ghost sa mga ancient writings, sa mga ancient manuscripts. So akong gisulti ganina kinsa ang mga tao or mga versions sa Bible sa mga old versions especially itong mga lahi nga mga lingwahe sa unang panahon nga makita ang 1 John 5:7 so this is not this is not a an inserted idea of sa kituwag og mga King James translator or even sa kituwag Erasmus sa iyang sa iyang Greek text dili ni siya inserted og di po ni pinadali nga pagsulat it is because we have a lot of uh, historical evidences or evidences ato makita nga naa ang 1 John 5.7 so it is Satan's deception or it is a uh, kinigituwag o uh, controversy on, or conspiracy of Satan nga nung naingon ane ang Bible karon. So, kinsa ang na, napungot? Kinsa lang ang dunay kapungot sa Diyos? Huh? Kinsa lang ang dunay kapungot sa Diyos? There's no other uh, person na dunay kapungot sa Diyos. And that is Satan. Satan tries to erase God. Huh? Gusto niya i-erase ang ginawa. Gusto niya pulihan ang ginawa. In the book of Isaiah, gusto niya pulihan, pulihan ang ginawa. He wants to remove God in his throne. He wants to replace God. Satan wants to replace God in his throne. Gusto niya pulihan ang ginawa. Gusto niya i-remove ang ginawa. And even sa iyang Bible, sa pulong sa ginawa, may preserve sa ginawa sa iyang Bible, gusto niya ilisan o mga perverted yung mga Bible just to remove God from the Bible. So, every perverted version is a counterfeit. Huh? Counterfeit. They are fake Bibles. There is only one preserved Bible in human history, and that is our King James Bible. This old, this blessed old book, it is a stained book. Ikon sa ato ang sa sa atong mga minsay nga tumakita or sa Bible mismo in the book of Hebrews. Now, the word Trinity, di makita but the idea and the teaching that these three are one, so that's the word Trinity, three in one, huh? but they are not the same. May kapi nga three in one. Huh? Isa ka kapi. Pero three ang sulod. Na ay coffee, sugar, na ay, na ay cream. Ito ka na. Hmm. They are not the same. But they are one. Oh. We have spirit, we have body, we have soul, but we are one. God has na ay father, na ay, na ay spirit, na ay son. Three parts. Hmm. But they are one. I am one. Ang pinaka, ang pinaka, in the illustration ni is the, ang sari nga, bula sa, ang sari nga bula ni, gamit sa, softball. So there's a, 
uh, kena makita ni mo panit niya cover niya speaks of the body makita sa atuang human eye but inside that covering there's a na ipon ay uban diha nga mga palikon mga thread na na diha ay mga thread na din nga gipang palibot then speaks of the soul hindi hmm? mo makita pero na diha and inside of it there's air hmm? na air diha sulod speaks of the spirit spirit is is like air hmm? ilik makita so isara pero tulog siya dili siya mahimong ingon ana kung wala nang tulog dili siya pwede nga mahimong isa kayo na 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 bola kung wala ang hangin wala ang gitawag mga uh, tree diha sa sulod na nagpalik on diha kung wala ang iyang covering uh, outward covering niya speaks of our body so daghan og makita na ito na pwede mahimong illustration three parts uh, but there's they are one they are one with three parts no? daghan kayo muna ang gitawag o uh, uh, illustration sa gitawag mystery of godliness the triune god the they there's only one god son gitawag sa biblia god spirit gitawag sa biblia god father god but they are not there are no three gods they are one god Makita yung sa Hebrew, police of the Godhead dwelleth in him. Hmm? Huh? sa 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 Bible. So, ato makita din hinga. Si Kristo maoy mahimong outward manifestation na nagpakita God manifest in the flesh yung sa Hebrew. So that's that is the the the, the mystery nga ang Dios ni manifest sa iya hanga sitwag o body taas kay ni siya na discussion pero na ko i-discuss tan kay we are talking about the seven mysteries now, i i have i have i have a lesson nini pa galing lang wala tay na nakuha ng video about sa atong lesson sa the mystery number one and number two tong kita diha the mystery it's all about the birth of Jesus Christ when Jesus Christ manifest in the flesh And number two, the mystery the mystery of the gospel. Ephesians chapter 6 19 okay Ephesians chapter 6 verse number 19 Even Padre ni Apostle Paul we are ministers of the mysteries of God we are ministers stewards so we are stewards kung saan ang stewards piniyalan kita so this mysteries gipiyal sa ginoo nga hikanato we reveal sa ginoo nga tukang Paul higang si Pablo he is the stewards and so we are we are the stewards of this mysteries Ephesians chapter uh, itawag o 6 kadawang mystery nga tumang kita diya nga gireveal sa ginoo nga tukang Paul is the mystery of the gospel in verse number 19 and for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel so there's what we call the mystery of the gospel we are talking about the mysteries that we revealed to Paul so seven of them 
of the mysteries this is mysteries the church Kini is Israelites or the law Kini ang grace So in this period uh, Ato makita si Paul din he Ipili sa ginao O kini nga mga mysteries Gireveal sa ginao nga tukang Apostle Paul Now, number two nga mysteries, iyon sa Biblia, atong makita din sa gospel. It's all about the death of Christ. Jesus, here po na Number two. About his death, burial, and resurrection. Even si Peter, wa makaibalo na yun eh. At tumilabay niya Sunday about sa dispensation, dispensation versus covenant theology. I talk a lot of the differences sa message ni Peter o sa message ni Paul. Ang message ni Peter, kaya na si Peter din he, ang message ni Peter is all about the kingdom. He is talking about the kingdom age. That is the content of the of his message. No, a message ni Peter and content is all about the kingdom. It's not about the body of Christ. It's not about the mystery of the body of Christ. Why? Si Pedro na na wak siya kibalo. He is, he is totally blind what will be the future event. Ang iyan ang naibaluan, kaibaw siya ani, o kaibaw siya din eh. Mauna ang naibaluan ni Pedro. Because this event was not hid sa mga tao dari before. Wala na natago. This event was foretold or prophesied by the prophets no mana ingon si Pedro din he kay balo siya anang mga butanga sa atong gibasa atong milabay nga nga gitawag Sunday Acts chapter 3 verse number uh, 21 ingon siya whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things or the restoration of all things that's kingdom age the time of restoration restitution which God had spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began so Peter in his mind wa na matago sa ilaha this future events kay bao sila kay bao ang mga 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 hudyo nuna kay mo na ginatudlo sa ilaha sa ilang pagkabata na magkadakot-dagko sila hangbot sa ilahang pagka adult mo na ginatudlo ginatudlo o ilang ginapaabot ginapaabot why? this future event was foretold or prophesied by the prophets before that is why kining mga butanga wa na matago sa mind ni Peter but the mysteries what si Pedro kay balo niya na that is why even si Pedro which was spoken by the prophets since the world began so this future events this kingdom age ngayon di pangutana in Acts chapter 1 verse number 6 will you restore the kingdom uh, of Israel today now imo na bang i-restore ang kingdom ipangutana na ni Pedro sa wa pa si Kristo nag-ascend Adulong pa siya sa iyong ascension. Yang Kutana, will you restore that kingdom? Iyon si Cristo, it's not for you to know the seasons and the times. Iyon si Pedro, sa iyong message, this future event was spoken by the prophets since the world began. But this pastoris, iyon pa, pa ni Paul in Romans chapter, uh, Romans chapter 16, Romans 16 verse number 
25 yun sa diha Romans 16:25 Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel So this one of these mysteries is the gospel So yun sa diha in verse 25 Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery or the mystery according to the revelation of the mystery what mystery is that? the gospel the mystery of the gospel you see that which was kept secret since the world began si Pedro nagsulti sa kingdom age it was spoken by the prophet since the world before but the gospel that was revealed to Paul in Shia, which kept secret since the world began so this gospel the gospel of the grace of God on saan gospel at makita din ha in Serbia muna ang gospel yun siya it is a secret thing Christ died and rose again huh? so ato makita mo na ang gospel na reveal ni Cristo kung saan content sa gospel there are five elements sa kitawag o gospel of Christ how Christ died yun sa man si Christo pagpagamatay he shed his blood and what's the purpose of his death siya for our sins so he died for our sins he was buried he rose again the third day yun sa ano content five, five elements of the gospel uban three ang ilang ibutang rin na but I, I we some of us put it as five elements one how Christ died number two four our since three he was buried he rose again the third day then according to the scriptures so wala ang five elements of the gospel that was revealed to Paul Eosia said that gospel is for our sins pero si Pedro sa iyang wali ang iyahang gituwag he never told the people that the death that the gospel or the death of Christ was for the sins of the whole world kung iyong makita din ha repent ye therefore in Acts 3.19 repent ye therefore and be converted and your sins may be blotted out kanong sa when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord ang iyang gisulti din he mga wala pag dunay remission of sins yung may tabu sa time sa gitawag o Armageddon no? Armageddon Armageddon uh, Rapture Tribulation So ato makita din he eh, yung si Pedro sa ihang wali the remission of sins sa gitong Israelite people happened during the time of uh, 
it was restitution or the time of repressing shall come so that's the armageddon the second advent of christ he is not referring to the death and the death of christ on the cross but paul the clarity of the gospel was revealed to the apostle paul the mystery the mystery of the gospel was revealed to apostle paul that's why it's a mystery that is why ato magita din na si Cristo o si, si Pablo o si Pedro si pa, Pablo wa magkaparehas ang ilang wali sa gito gospel sa time nga si Pedro nag-start because ang iyang wali is all about the gospel of the kingdom since Jesus or John the Baptist ni Abutus si Kalibutan padulong na din siya itawag kang Stephen it's all about the gospel of the kingdom But the time na si Pedro o si Pablo nag-meet sila sa Itwag o Jerusalem Council during si Elham Apostles Conference did to be reveal ni Apostle Paul ang mystery of the gospel iyang gi-communicate, iyang gi-share nga to sa mga 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 apostles o gidawat ni Pedro o nakahibalo si Pedro ni Ana nga naman kay naay panahon sa usaka, sa iyang ministry nga nagwali siya o Gentiles nga natingal na siya nga nung ang mga Gentiles nakadawat sa Holy Spirit nga wapas siya kadaw wapas siya kahuman o wali nga wapas sila na bautismuhan sa sa tubig at magkita din ha kunaingon si Pedro nga ako ning na, 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 nakabalo ko na ni nga naman nahitabo na sa ako ah pero even do nahitabo saya ha it's still ito wag of mystery para saya nga nung na yung ato man nga nung na yung ato man until nag confirm ni Paul na muna ang gospel na gireveal nga to saya ha sa diyan iya ni communicate sa mga Apostles diha sa gitu Jerusalem. So ato magita diha the mystery of the gospel. It is a mystery. Sa diha wak pa si Pablo it's a mystery. Si Pedro na wak kay Pablo. He didn't know anything about about this gospel until he confirmed ni Apostle Paul. This is the gospel which was revealed unto me by our Lord Jesus Christ. So kay Paul siya nga iya reveal na siya sa gino sa ato kang Pablo. Ato nang mabasa sa tanong makita, Galatians chapter chapter 1, 11 to 12 and Galatians chapter 2 verse 1 to basa ko niyo padulong sa 8, makita niyo on sa ang itawag o pag-confirm ni Apostle Paul sa mga mga gospel, nga ato kang Pedro sa nang nakita sila sa itawag Jerusalem at the time. So ato mong kita, ikaduwa niya is the mystery of the gospel how Christ died for our sins The only thing na makasave sa tao, makaluwas sa tao karon is gospel of the grace of God. The gospel that was revealed to Paul. This is the only gospel na kinahanglat iwali sa kadaganan o sa mga tao, especially during this time period. No? From the cross to the rapture. This is the only gospel. Nawali na sa unang panahon, uh, sa uh, prior sa itawag o pagwali ni Pedro, especially sa pagwali ni Pedro, at to kang uh, Cornelius pero it is still unknown para sa iya it is still mystery para sa iya until he confirm Pablo nga to kang, kang Pedro pero muna ang message till ang rapture mo abot there is no other gospel nga pwedeng iwali din he Acts chapter 2 verse 38 is not the gospel for us today no the law The, 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 the Ten Commandments is not our gospel today. Dili na mo gospel na to karon ni. Church membership is not our gospel today. Now, this they are not the gospel. Bisag na anak sila sa Biblia, but they are not the gospel. Kana pa kaya nga na sa Bible dili ganin na sila ang gospel. Unsa pa kaya nang wa gisulti sa Biblia na gihimo karon nga mga gospel sa mga tao? Like for example, unsa nga mga gospel gihimo sa tao? Surrendering your life to Christ. Wala na sa Biblia. There is no such thing as surrendering to Christ. Dili na wala na isulting nga muna ang gospel. Surrender your your whole total total surrender na to kang Kristo. There is no such thing as ingon ana na teaching sa Bible for salvation. Wala di ka kita ana. Ikatlain pa mga man-made nga doctrine wala sa Biblia. Inviting Christ into your hearts. Wala na sa Biblia. The Bible doesn't say, doesn't teach ano nga klase sa gituwag doktrina inviting Christ to come into your hearts wala nagtudlo ang Bible niya na there's no such thing as that gospel 
na gitudlo karon that we, that we call it another gospel unsa pa daghan kayo pa mga gospel nga gisulti sinner's prayer is not the gospel for us today there is no such thing as sinner's prayer in the bible nga gitudlo sa gituwag o church period wala na dili na moy gituwag gospel of christ because the gospel of christ is 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. That is the gospel. By replacing this pure gospel, you are preaching a perverted or another gospel. This is the only gospel. Naging ni Pablo nga mystery. Mystery, it's because it was not yet known it was not yet known during sa mga previous ng mga tao no what my body until nagirebel na to kang pablo the only gospel is 15:1 to to poor moreover brethren i declare unto you the gospel ilon si ilon si paul dia gi declare niya the gospel sumo na ang gospel ng jesus sa biblia how christ died this is this the, these are the elements of the gospel how Christ died, he shed his blood. Why he is shedding his blood? For our sins. He was buried. He rose again. According to the scriptures, it is not a man-made doctrine. It is a Bible doctrine. Kung doon ang mga tao, kung saman yung gospel, it is according to the scriptures. This is the gospel of Christ. The mystery gospel of Christ. 